Japan's monarchy, the oldest hereditary monarchy in the world, traces its roots back to 660 BC. This was the era of the legendary emperor Jimmu, a figure shrouded in myth and mystery. According to the ancient chronicles of Kojiki and Nihonshoki, Emperor Jimmu was a descendant of the sun goddess Amaterasu, and his ascension to the throne marked the birth of the Japanese monarchy. In these early days, the Japanese emperor was more than just a political leader. He was a religious figure, a conduit between the physical world and the spiritual realm. His rule was seen as a divine mandate, a sacred duty bestowed upon him by the gods themselves. His role was to maintain harmony between the heavens and earth, ensuring peace and prosperity for his people. Emperor Jimmu's reign marked the beginning of a long line of emperors who would shape the course of Japan's history. Fast forward to the Heian period, a time of cultural blossoming and political change. The Heian period, spanning from the late 8th to the late 12th century, was marked by the rise of the Fujiwara clan, a powerful family that exerted immense control over the monarchy. Through strategic marriages into the imperial family, the Fujiwara clan managed to consolidate power, effectively ruling from behind the scenes. This political maneuvering wasn't without its benefits. During their reign, the Heian period saw a flourish of cultural and artistic achievements. Literature, poetry and art all thrived, painting a vibrant picture of life during this era. However, the Fujiwara's control over the monarchy came at a cost. The emperors, once the absolute rulers, found their influence diminishing. This was a significant shift, laying the groundwork for a new era of power dynamics in Japan. While the Fujiwara clan held the reins of power, the emperor's influence waned, setting the stage for a shift in Japan's power dynamics. As the Fujiwara's control weakened, the Kamakura and Muromachi periods saw the rise of the military class. The Kamakura period, beginning in the late 12th century, heralded a significant shift in power dynamics. This was the era of the Kamakura Shogunate, a military government led by the Shogun, a title which essentially translates as military dictator. The Shogun, not the Emperor, was the real holder of power, thus setting the stage for a period of warrior rule. This trend continued into the Muromachi period, which spanned from the 14th to the 16th centuries. The Ashikaga shogunate rose to prominence during this time, further solidifying the military's hold on power. The emperor's influence continued to decline as the shoguns held the reins of Japan's governance. This was a time of turbulent change, a shift from the refined courts of the Heian period to the brutal realities of warrior rule. With the shoguns firmly in control, the emperors were reduced to mere figureheads. It wasn't until the Meiji Restoration that the emperor regained political power. This seismic shift in Japan's political landscape occurred in 1868, when a coalition of samurai from Western Japan overthrew the Tokugawa shogunate. This marked the end of the Edo period and the beginning of the Meiji era. Emperor Meiji, at just 15 years old, was thrust into the spotlight as the symbolic leader of the new government. He played a crucial role in ushering in a period of rapid modernization and westernization. The influence of the West was evident in everything from clothing and architecture to systems of government and education. Japan was striving to be recognized as a world power, and it was under Emperor Meiji's reign that the country started to emerge as one. Fast forward to the 20th century, and we encounter two significant figures in Japan's modern history. Emperor Showa, or Hirohito as he is more commonly known, and his son, Emperor Heisei, or Akihito. Hirohito's reign saw Japan through the tumult of World War II and into an era of unprecedented economic growth. His son, Akihito, was a symbol of continuity and stability during the rapid changes of the Heisei era, which spanned the years from 1989 to 2019, and today we have Emperor Reiwa, or Naruhito, who ascended to the Chrysanthemum throne in 2019. His reign, still in its early years, is a testament to the enduring role of the emperor in Japan's national identity. The emperor, while no longer wielding political power, serves as a symbol of unity and continuity for the people of Japan. Despite the twists and turns of history, the Japanese monarchy remains a vital part of Japan's identity bridging the past and the present. Through periods of upheaval and transformation, from the Meiji Restoration to the modern era, the Emperor has remained a constant and enduring symbol of Japan's rich and complex history. 
from the mythical Emperor Jimmu to the present-day Emperor Reiwa, the Japanese monarchy has weathered many storms. This journey took us from the birth of a monarchy steeped in myth and legend, through the Fujiwara clan's reign, to the rise of the shoguns during the Kamakura and Muromachi periods, we saw the transformative Meiji Restoration, paving the way for modern Japan. Although their roles have changed over the centuries, Japan's emperors continue to serve as a symbol of the nation's unbroken history,